नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी एथ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव in this discussion we will see how was the weather during past one week and what we expect in terms of weather in the coming next two weeks if we talk about the significant weather events during past one week that is between 21st of august to 27th of august then we have seen that the overall active monsoon conditions prevailed over northwest and central india during the past week the weekly cumulative rainfall over most part most of the metrological subdivisions of northwest and central india was above normal rainfall during the week If we talk about all in the rainfall uh, weekly departure, it was 37 percent above long period average. That means 37 percent more rainfall was reported over uh, in an all India basis for this week. If we talk about the intense rainfall activities, an exceptionally heavy rainfall was reported at uh, isolated places over East Rajasthan in uh, district Bundi, where 50 centimeter rainfall was reported on 23rd of August. In another station, that is a Patan in this Bundi district of East Rajasthan, 31 centimeter rainfall was reported. Also in Jammu on 27th of August, in Udhampur IF uh, station, 63 centimeter rainfall was reported, which was in an exceptionally heavy rainfall category. In Jammu on the same day, it is 27th of August, 38 centimeter rainfall was reported. On in Telangana. On 28th of August, in Kamreddy, 41 centimeter rainfall was reported. In addition to these exceptionally heavy rainfall events, there was also extremely heavy rainfall, which was reported on uh, over Gujarat region, Saurashtra and Kutch, Madhya Maharashtra on 21st of August, East Rajasthan during 22nd to 24th of August, Jharkhand on 23rd of August, Punjab and Haryana on 25th and 26th of August, Jammu and Kashmir on 27th of August, Telangana on 28th of August. These intense rainfall activity brought lot of uh, flash flood events. There was landslide, mudslide, and uh, a large amount of impact was seen over these particular regions. If we talk about the major synoptic features which are in, uh, impacting India during the last week, then there was a slow movement of two successive western disturbances over North India. The second western disturbances it uh, became active and it also interacted with the monsoonal system and gave a good amount of rainfall over north and northwest parts of the country and in the western Himalayan region. Monsoon trough in general was nearest normal position during most days of the week, except on 21st and 27th of August when its western end was south of its normal position. There were two low pressure areas which uh, uh, impacted in uh, Indian uh, in Indian region. A low pressure area formed over Gangetic West Bengal and neighborhood, and it moved towards Central India during 22nd to 25th of August. There was another low pressure area which formed over Northwest Bay of Bengal off Odisha coast on 26th of August. It moved slowly and intensified into a well marked low pressure area on 27th of August. Also, there was a upper cyclone circulation which hovered around. Uh, Northern parts of Madhya Pradesh during 21st to 24th of August, and over Haryana and adjoining Rajasthan during 25th to 26th of August. If we talk about the major synoptic systems over India today, that is on 28th of August, then the western end of monsoon trough it runs near its normal position, and its eastern end is running to the south of its normal position. The yesterday is well marked low pressure area over northwest Bay of Bengal off Odisha coast. It moved west northwestwards and weakened into a low pressure area over South Odisha and adjoining Chhattisgarh. It was centered over central parts of Chhattisgarh and neighborhood today morning that is at 8:30 hours IST of 28th of August 2025. The western disturbance was seen as a cyclone circulation over North Pakistan and adjoining Punjab in low atmospheric level. There was also a shear zone which was running roughly along latitude 17 degree north over Indian region in middle atmospheric levels. If we talk about the rainfall situation for the past one week, then country as a whole, uh, the normal rainfall for this particular period is 52.3 mm, and against which country as a whole received 71.6 mm rainfall, which was 37 percent more than the normal rainfall activity of the long period average. If you see majority of the meteorological subdivisions in the northern parts of the country, central and eastern parts of the country, they received normal to above normal rainfall activity. However, the southern parts of the country they received deficient rainfall activity. In terms the percentage if you consider the southern peninsula received minus 46% rainfall uh, as compared to its uh, long period average rainfall activity whereas northwest india it received plus 142% that is a large excess rainfall uh, for the northwestern parts of the country if it about seasonal rainfall that is from 1st of june to today that is 27th of august then we are seeing that country as a whole it has uh, normally it received 672.1 mm rainfall during this period however till uh, today it has received 700 4.5 mm of rainfall which was 5% above normal uh, uh, what is expected for this long period average if you talk about the country as a whole uh, then uh, 
most of the regions particularly east and northeast india they are in the normal category northwest india is in the excess category which plus 23 percent in fall has been reported till uh, 28th of august central india it is plus nine percent southern peninsula it is plus five percent overall for the indian region it is plus five percent however some metallocal subdivisions like bihar Assam and Meghalaya and on Uttar Pradesh, they in individually they are in the deficient rainfall category for this duration. If we talk about the forecast for next two weeks, if we talk about uh, week one, that is between 28th of August to 3rd of September, then rainfall is likely to be normal to above normal over most parts of West India, many parts of Northwest and adjoining Western Himalayan region and Central India and along the West Coast. Below normal rainfall is likely in many parts of Northeast and adjoining East India and Southern Peninsular India. In respect of this, we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall activity likely over Telangana, Konkan and Goa, Madhya Maharashtra, Kerala and Karnataka till tomorrow it is 29th of August. Isolated places are likely to see extremely heavy falls over coastal Karnataka and Telangana today that is on 28th of August. I said heavy rainfall spell is likely to continue over northwest India during next 6 to 7 days with I said, uh, very heavy rainfall over Uttarakhand on 28th and 29th of August. If we talk about week 2 rainfall activity, then it is likely to be normal to above normal over most parts of northwest and central India, near normal over most parts of east and northeast India, and below normal over many parts of southern peninsula India during the week 2 that is between 4th through 10th of September. If we talk about the cyclogenesis forecast for the next two weeks, that is uh, between 29th of August to 4th of September and 5th September to 11th September, then if you consider the various large scale environmental features and model guidance, it is inferred that there is no probability of cyclogenesis during the week one that is during 29th of August to 4th of September here I would like to add that uh, cyclogenesis means whenever there is probability of a formation of depression or higher intensity however a low pressure area is likely to form over north Bay of Bengal around 3rd September 2025 thereafter it is likely that this system may move in west northwestwards across the northwest Bay of Bengal the coastal areas of West Bengal and North Odisha and intensify into a depression around 5th of September. Accordingly, there is a low probability of cyclogenesis during the first half of week 2 that is between 5th September to 11th of September 2025. There is likelihood of the formation of another low pressure area over Northwest Bay of Bengal at the end of week 2. So these are the main weather features which are likely to impact India during next two weeks. For any updated information, you can visit IMD website, IMD Motham app and our social media handles. We will meet again next week with similar kind of information. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar. Jai Hind.